Hi, this is Mark Pritchard again with a second recording showing how to use Jenkins Enterprise running on the Cloud Bees platform as a service uh, to manage and run mobile application builds. Uh, in the first video we looked at building an iOS application for the iPhone and now I'd like to look at how to do Android builds. So let's open up this configuration and uh, again, I'm using uh, 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 my laptop as a remote slave for this build. I mean, in this case, I don't need specifically to have a Mac OS environment, but it's convenient for me to use the laptop in this way. And you can see here that I have the, the two slaves defined, one which I'm dedicating to the iOS builds. Let's put that out of the way. And this one here, which I'm using for the uh, Android build. And if we come back here, if you come to the main dashboard for Jenkins, you can see here the uh, two build executors. And all this is managed and controlled uh, using uh, Jenkins in the cloud. So we're using on-demand resources from the cloud these paths, and we simply use the remote slave resources whenever we need them for a particular job. So let's just have a look at the configuration for the uh, Android build here. And um, as with the iPhone application, uh, I'm actually building this off a, a GitHub repository here. So this was the uh, Stockfish uh, iOS application. Let's just come back here. And uh, if I come to my repositories, here we are, Stockfish Chess Android. And again, you can clone from this if you want to have a look at it. And so we're building that whenever a change is pushed to, to GitHub. And, and once again, I'm going to actually just build this directly to save time. Now, let's have a look at what we're doing for the build environment. We're taking advantage of um, a powerful uh, Jenkins plugin, the Android emulator. Now, this can do a, a whole variety of things, and I've got a fairly simple use case here. But what I want it to do is to uh, create an emulator with a specific configuration, and I've got one here which is sort of mimicking a, a, a droid device. And what this will do is to run the, the Android emulator on the slave machine. Uh, it will do the build. It will install the uh, application and the tests onto the device. It will run the tests, and then it will actually shut down the emulator. Uh, the plugin does a lot of smart things. Uh, for example, there's no need for me to um, manually install the Android SDK or any of the tools or do any of the emulator configuration on the slave. Uh, the plugin will handle all that automatically. Uh, obviously, if you're downloading the SDK and so on, that will take a little while. So I've, I've run this a couple of times to make sure that all those things are uh, are already downloaded, so the build will be much quicker. But again, you don't need to worry about setting up any of that environment. And finally, the build itself. Here we go to the uh, the Droidfish test project, and we simply run ant clean debug install test in a fairly standard way. And that really is all there is to it. Uh, let me run the build now. I'm afraid in this case I don't have an Android device to hand. So I'm not able to do the distribution step, but that would work you know, in a very similar way to what we saw with the, the iPhone uh, using the, the beta test management packages. So here we go, and you can see here that we've created and we are running uh, the uh, Android emulator here. So the emulator is now being started and uh, if I now switch over this window so that you can see the tests, we're just waiting to connect to the device once it's booted up. And now uh, the emulator is ready and we're going to run through the, the Ant script for doing the, the Android build and package and test and so on. So we'll just let that run for a minute here. Uh, just converting to the Dalvik bytecode. And we have to do this for both the Droidfish uh, application and the Droidfish test package. And now those are both being installed onto the emulator. 
there you can see those there. I'll just bring the emulator back up. There really won't be anything to see. This all sort of happens in the background, but you can see the tests suites running there. And once that's successful, the Android emulator plugin uh, automatically shuts down the emulator. And you can see there that the whole build was successful. And just to illustrate a little bit of what's going on, um, you can see here, this is the uh, Jenkins directory that I'm using as the FS root flag with the Jenkins remote slave. So this is like the working directory for Jenkins on the remote machine. You can see here the various runtime jars. Here under tools is the Android SDK. This was automatically downloaded and, and unpacked and installed uh, for me on the slave. And we see here under the workspace, you can see the, the projects that are built. And here's the uh, Android project Droidfish. And here in fact is the uh, test uh, project associated with that Droidfish test. And so that's the, the local workspace. And of course that would be uh, refreshed whenever a change is made to the source repository. And that will be pushed down to the project workspace and the, the job is built. The emulator itself is um, uh, is available on the system beyond the lifetime of the actual run. So uh, if you're interested, you can uh, do, for example, a standard command. You could do, um, sorry, Android. You could do Android list ABD. And you can see here the device that was created uh, specifically for that run, but that is available so that if I wanted to restart it, uh, I can just do um, emulator minus AVD. And then if I simply take this name here, and I'll just paste that in, then I can start that emulator again. And now I can actually see the application deployed to the emulator. Let's just let this one boot up. There we are, and that's actually my Stockfish application ready for me to start playing. So that was a, a short illustration of uh, how easy it is to do Android builds using the Jenkins Android uh, emulator plugin with uh, Jenkins Enterprise running on the CloudBees platform as a service. Thank you.